Yeah, what's, what's up? up? We back with something special. A movie review. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Christmas. More this Christmas. is a Christmas movie, which I have... So, just so happen to love mm -hmm. Christmas movies. Like, I love Christmas movies. I really do. They make it Christmassy. Yes. Especially here in Las Vegas. Where Sometimes it's, Christmas movies can repeat themselves. It's not too. Christmas. Maybe when it's Christmas because it's no snow or anything. But anyway, um, yes. Yeah, so, this movie... Almost Christmas. It was made, executive produced by some... By, it was filmed, written, and directed by David E. Talbert. Mm -hmm. He did a lot of movies. Including, well, it was, I'm trying to get mm -hmm. to that. The same people who made this, made this Christmas. Oh, pa Will Packer. Yes, Will Packer. So, of course, when you see the commercials, you see similarities and everything mm -hmm. else. Um, let's, let's start off with the rating of the movie. Okay, so, what out of a 10. Out of a 10... It's a lot to take into consideration. I think I give it... I think I give it a... I would say probably a 5. It get a lot of points knocked off because... For the originality not being all the way there. Mm -hmm. Out of like 10, I would probably give it... I wasn't even a 7, maybe a 6.5. I wasn't going to give it a 7, but then I was like 5. I think a six and a half or a seven for me, basically, because I feel like it was funny. I think um, Monique is in the movie. I think she really saved the yes. movie because she was making she the was, jokes and she was really good. Yeah. And I think the reason why is it's kind of open-ended. It didn't really close up some holes. I yeah. wish they would have maybe elaborated a little bit more on some more things, mm -hmm. but they didn't. I wish they would have maybe went through with some more stuff. I feel like... Yeah, um, by the way, we're not going to give no spoilers, no spoilers. away because we know this movie just came out. And it just came out. So. Yeah, I see it. So it stars Danny Glover as Walter yes. Myers, Kimberly Elise as his daughter Cheryl Myers, Omar Epps as Malachi. It's creepy. But, he was creepy yeah. in this movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it stars Romney Malco as his son Christian Myers, Monique as Aunt May, the aunt, Nicole Ari Parker as Sonia Myers, who is Christian's wife, J.B. Smoove as Lonnie, <laughs> Gabriel Union as Rachel Myers. He was funny. I know. Carrie Hilson was in this movie. She played uh -huh. Jasmine. Jesse Usher was one of the sons in the movies, Evan Myers. Yeah. DC Young Fly was Eric in here. He and if y'all don't know who DC Young Fly is, we're going to put pictures of everybody mm -hmm. just said. But he freaking came off of Instagram. He came up off of Instagram. He was like the Instagram comedian. Came up on Instagram making videos and now he's in, in movie. a movie. A big movie. And he be on uh, Wild Now. Yeah, y'all can't say these Instagram people are not doing nothing with their life. When they posting on this Instagram stuff, they make they something make out of themselves. Because they get they put their name out there and get to work. So. Thank God. So then Gladys Knight, she was in this movie yes. too. So was Gregory, Gregory Allen, Allen Williams. Monica was in this movie too. Uh -huh, Rachel, that was I, weird. I know, it was kind of weird. <laughs> Rachel Kalian was in this movie. So was Nadej, K. Bailey, Tara Jones, Rick Rates, Marley Taylor. It, was, it wasn't too many people in this movie. No, it wasn't. They kept the ca cast kind of short. Mm -hmm. They might have been on some kind of budget because they didn't really... Well, the budget was $17 million. Why? And it made $36 million. But you got all those people to pay. Gabriel... Monique. Gabrielle Monique Danny probably Glover. took home the biggest cut. Probably. They most likely them too, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and John Michael Higgins. He was in this too, so. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, I just felt like the movie, it was it was I think it was really good, but like I said, it repeated to mm -hmm. almost the exact thing to this mm -hmm. Christmas. It, it really did. The same exact character stories just switched around like a notch. A notch. Or or not even at all. But that's what got me. It was like, wow, oh y'all couldn't have just... That's just like Chris Brown's character. Yeah, yeah. it was like y'all couldn't have just, like... But sometimes just, with Christmas movies, that's how they are. When, when, they, when people try to make Christmas movies, or when people try to make movies in general, it, it kind of feels, it does kind of feel like it's a repeat. Mm-hmm. It does. And I don't know, maybe because they're trying to do a Christmas movie and they're trying to get all the actors in there and trying to make it funny and stuff just like that. And it, it felt like they could have maybe done something a little bit differently. They could have, dang, at least got some different backstories or something. It's like, wow, it was the same thing as this Christmas. Yeah, just a little, like a little tent. 
That's crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, I just really want somebody to make a real a good mm -hmm. Christmas movie and it's hard though. Try to, to make it different though. I mean, it's a lot of stuff you can tell mm -hmm. a story about. A lot of stuff. I feel like they was running out of time too. And then the ending was, you know, the ending was nice. It was like it was a heartwarming yeah type. See, feel. like the like, ending that was different. That was different. Because and you didn't think it would happen like that. Throughout, I think it did. Compared to this Christmas, I think it did have more connections. Mm -hmm. I think it did have more, a little more connections. Because everybody there. on there had, like, their own little storylines. Yeah. But on here, everybody connected in a different type of way. Even they And the kids had bigger roles. Mm -hmm. I know, like, in the only Christmas movies, the kids don't have big roles. The kids in this movie had yeah. big roles. You know, they were talking stuff. So. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, yeah, I think... Do you think this should... Do you, would you recommend the movie? Like, a yeah, ticket is so. probably like ten dollars, ten or twenty, fifteen dollars. Would you not for one person? It's like seven. Okay. Uh, sometimes it's not. The movie tickets are expensive for no reason. Okay. Anyway, would you recommend this movie? I guess so. I would recommend I it just so. to. Just because the cast is different, yeah, and Monique was really funny. She she did she did she did a really good job. Yeah, if you're not going to see it for nothing else other than that's a Christmas movie, Monique. and they got Monique in it, then you should go see it for that because th she was really funny. I know it had a lot of big actors in there: yeah. Gabrielle Union, Monique, Danny. They Gordon. all did good. They, they all, all did, did good. good. Yeah, I don't think that it wasn't corny. No, it wasn't like some like, people was trying to be too funny. Uh -huh. They had like people that was authentically funny. Yeah. So I like. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I think really it's just like the the, the storyline, mm -hmm. the open ended. Maybe we're gonna make another one. The open ended plots that was in there because I feel like some stuff could have been closed up, some stuff could have been like fixed. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It was it was a few yes. few parts where I was like, okay, that okay. Oh, please elaborate or like elaborate. are you gonna tell a little more about that? Or, that's so weird. So, yeah. I just thought about a scene, like, when he was in a garage and a little girl came in. That was just, like, in a scene with... I know. What's his name? Quentin and yeah. Joe. That's crazy. From this Christmas. Not just Quentin and Joe. Quentin and Joe from this Christmas. Who's Quentin and Joe? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But so, anyway, anyway yeah. guys, that was really our review of the movie. Overall, I really liked it. And, I mean, if it came on, like, when he come on TV or whatever, um... I'll, I'll watch it again. I, yeah. I'll watch it again. Uh, yeah, because it was it's funny. not bad. It was funny. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It had movie. some good acting in there. You know what I'm saying? They good. You know, they Jesse Usher had a part in there where yeah. it was like, you know, he had to get emotional. Uh -huh. Oh, his scene. Oh, that in. That, that like scene. one of his last scenes. Yeah. That was good for him. It was. I think that was good. Because he was just in the second Independence Day and he did uh -huh. this. So, yeah. And I, I don't think nobody did bad. I think everybody did their own yeah. thing. Of just, you know, with the storyline thing, you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing. But other than that, Monique, she really did really good. I think yeah. that I was like, Monique, and I think that she's funny, and I hope to see her in more stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, but the critics, of course, what did you, you know, what the critics mm -hmm. had to say. They didn't like it. They gave it like a two or three, mm -hmm. one and a half. I kind of already got, knew that they was going to do that, but yeah. yeah. Especially on an all black movie. On a black, black. I know. Because if this was a. A white. A, it just say it. If, if this was a white Christmas movie, movie it would be Everybody Diane went, oh God, Keaton. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we all know if it, it was be Diane Keaton, Michael. No, Diane. Yeah, Diane Keaton and Michael Douglas or one of them Michaels. They getting divorced. They gotta tell their kids that they. And I divorced. love those movies. Like I love watching it's, those movies. And they all, they be all the same. All the same. They getting the divorce. And they gotta tell their kids. This is the last time they're gonna be together. And, but they be good. That's how they be. And it's then, but crazy. people be raving about those movies. I know. But like with <sighs> this, it's all about people like. Ah. I'm saying Diane Keaton. She got some nice turtlenecks. <laughs> but the bit, the mo I was could swear she be in the same movie the five same. different times. Yeah. But I watched it so anyway. Yeah. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, come subscribe and share. Make sure y'all tell us if y'all went to go see the movie, what y'all thought about it, and if you are going to go see the movie now. Now. Because I think you should. I think go check it out, guys. Go buy yourself a little ticket. Yeah. Two it's tickets, nice. Three tickets, four tickets. Heart woman and funny. So we we'll see you guys next time. Bye. What are you doing? <laughs>